So folks, welcome back to this new series where we talk about candlestick types. If you recollect, we have spoken about the various chart types where we have covered what we mean by candlesticks and candlestick chart types. The video link for that particular video is provided in the comment section for you to refer if you have not already watched it. Candlesticks can give you information about the market sentiment which is very hard to quantify in terms of the technical tools and indicators. Remember that Japanese candlesticks are very intuitive in nature and conveys a lot of information if read the correct way. So in this series, we'll talk about the most prominent candlestick types and how we can make meaningful interpretations from these candlesticks. So to begin with, we will cover the hanging man and a hammer pattern in this particular video. So as the name suggests, a hammer pattern typically resembles a hammer, which means that you have a long shadow on the lower side and a small body on the top. So as you can see on my screen, I have drawn a hammer candle and a hanging man candle. And if you notice, these candles look exactly the same in terms of its shape and size. However, if this particular candle appears during a downtrend, it signifies that the downtrend may temporarily pause and an uptrend may follow. And conversely, if this candle formation is spotted when the stock is in an uptrend, it may signify a temporary pause in the uptrend and the price movement may enter into a corrective phase or a downtrend. So let's talk about a hammer pattern. So a hammer pattern, as we said, is a candlestick with no upper shadow and a long lower shadow and it has a very small body. The color of the candle is not of much significance here because it can either be a green body candle or a red body candle. What is important here is that the psychology of the market states that the prices went down but the buyers were able to push the price back up and it was able to close the market at a price which was very close to the open price. Hence you have a small body and a long lower weight. It signifies the dominance of buyers from lower levels, hence we have a very long shadow and it is also indicative of a potential pause or reversal of the downtrend. If you can see this example on my screen, Nifty index on a daily time frame was in a downtrend and after a few huge red body candles, we spotted a hammer candle, which means the sellers did try to dominate and take the prices down but the buyers came in and they managed to close the price way above the low price point for the day. And if you notice, after the hammer candle was spotted, the index started going into a bull phase, which means the downtrend was temporarily paused and the uptrend was followed. Here I have another example on my screen of the chart of Sipla Limited on a weekly time frame. The stock was in a visible downtrend and when we spotted a hammer candle here, it was followed by a green long body candle, which confirms the belief that the downtrend may be temporarily pausing and it may be followed by an uptrend. And as we can see, the stock started going up after the hammer candle was spotted. So coming to the hanging man candle, which is the opposite of a hammer candle, if you can see on my screen, the candle looks very much similar to what a hammer candle looked like. It is the position of this particular candle which matters in case of charts. If it is appearing during a downtrend, it may indicate a temporary pause and that is why we call it a hammer. And in case this candle is appearing during the uptrend, it may indicate a temporary pause in the uptrend and that is why we call it a hanging man. And as we covered earlier, the color of the body of the candle is not of significance here. What is of importance and significance is the psychology behind this candle. So this candle signifies that the sellers were able to dominate the market and the sellers tried to take the price down, but the buyers somehow came in and managed to hold the prices. So this is the first sign that the buyers are trying to take control over the bull in a stock where the price is already in an uptrend. So let's take a few examples to understand the hanging man candle. So as you can see on my screen, I again have the chart of Nifty 50 on a daily time frame. 
Nifty was in a visible uptrend forming a higher top and higher bottom formation and then we spotted a hanging man pattern. And this is the first indication that the bulls may be losing control and the bears may be taking over. And after that, as you notice, the corrective phase started and the bull run took a temporary pause here. So this is what the hanging man candle typically tries to convey. It signifies a pause or a reversal of the ongoing trend. Taking one more example of the hanging man candle, I have the chart of Lupin Limited on a weekly time frame on my screen. And if you notice, the stock was in a visible uptrend forming a higher top, higher bottom, higher top, higher bottom formation. And then we spotted a hanging man candle here. And as expected, the stock entered into a correction mode after a pause in the uptrend. So this is how a hammer or a hanging man candle can provide you with more information about the market sentiment and psychology which often the technical indicators fail to convey. So when you use this particular intuitive method of reading the candles along with the technical indicators, you get a definitive edge in your trading and investing decisions. So if I am a trader who has taken a long position on this stock and I can see that the stock is performing and going up, when I spot a hanging man candle being formed in the chart, I may want to book out my profits and exit my long position here and re-enter at a lower level and subsequently reduce my cost of holding. So this is how candles can give you a very intuitive information about the market sentiment and when combined with technical indicators, you would have a definitive edge in your trading and investment decisions. Do remember, candles can work miraculously and give you an edge and if you spot these candle formations on a higher time frame chart, that will hold more significance as compared to a lower time frame chart. So folks, I hope that this video gives you an idea of how intuitive candles can be and how you can use that information about the market sentiment in your trading and investing decision. So in the following videos, we'll be covering a host of other candle patterns which will help you provide a definitive edge in your trading journey. So practice as much as you can and start identifying candles in any and every chart that you come across. Thank you and stay tuned.